this, this whole idea that we need to go to in Iran makes no sense whatsoever. Iran happens to spend 1% on their military compared to what we spend. 99% more, that is what we spend on our, our defense. And what do we do? We, we try to intimidate and build fear in the people that they have nuclear weapons that are about to unleash these on Europe and the United States and that we have to do something. At the same time, at, at the same time, there is this intimidation. This is the reason we're building missiles, uh, missile sites right next to the border of Russia. And there's some that are want to re-stir up the Cold War and guess what? Who would benefit from this other than the military industrial complex? The founders were right about foreign policy, no entangling alliances, mind our own business, stay out of the internal affairs. to lay to rest completely and totally. It was been taught in our public schools for too long that war is healthy for the economy. It absolutely is never healthy for the economy. But this is, they, they, that is their claim that it's healthy for the economy. I would say the economy ought to be booming here. Just think how many wars are going on around the world, how much we're spending on the military. But all that money we spend overseas, just think about the money we take and we buy bombers and we buy bombs and we go over and bomb bridges and then the bridges are blown up. Then we have to tax the people being to go over and rebuild the bridges to be good Americans. At the same time, what's happening? Bridges are falling down in this country. Let's repair our bridges right here in this country. that uh, has developed over the last several years have been the development of the unitary president. And it's endorsed by just essentially everybody on both sides of the aisle in Washington. So it is this group here, our group here, our campaign, the cause of liberty and the Constitution that emphasizes that there is limitation of powers. The Constitution should limit the power of the presidency, not give it unlimited powers to the unitary president. No more Patriot Acts and no more FISA courts. No more Real ID Acts. So there is so much that we can do, and we're on the verge of breaking out. I believe that the campaign has ignited this spirit. It was smoldering there, but this spirit has been united, and it's breaking forth. I been asked so many times in the last few weeks, what do you expect to do up in Minneapolis? Continue the momentum. Build the momentum. Keep this rally going for many months and years to come. It's a great message, it's an American message, and there's no reason for us to be bashful about it. I know my limitations, I know my shortcomings, but I know one thing else, though, that I believe I'm correct on, is that this message is correct. Freedom really works! problems we do have the energy and we do have the excitement and we do still have enough freedoms to do something about it and this means that there is this urgency that we do it now we don't have 10 or 20 years this means that this momentum has to pick up and it's not going to come by central planning by any politician any place it has to come at the grassroots just as the campaign was run to do things spontaneously and keep this going yeah. my deep appreciation. You placed a lot of confidence in what I've been doing and in the campaign. Not only the campaign for the presidency, but the campaign for liberty. That to me 
is, is really something I, I deeply appreciate. And obviously, since I've been doing this for 30 years, I'm probably not going to quit in the next few years doing the very same thing. It's the creative energy of each and every one of us that creates the wealth and the ingenuity. When we suppress that with dictatorships and tyrants and militarism, it makes a country poor. Now, we on the surface still appear to be relatively rich. But the reason we should have more concern than what appears on the surface is that it's been all borrowed wealth and inflated wealth. But we are at the turning point because in spite of all the reports out of Washington, Middle class, Main Street America already knows the standard of living is going down in this country yes, and that we're facing tough times. Yeah. So we have to change the policy. We have the answers. We have the energy. So onward with our revolution.